hello everybody welcome to my channel and um, yes I'm going to be showing you guys how I draft this particular dress here you should see that somewhere here or here the picture is gonna appear somewhere okay all right so we're gonna draft it and um, we are going to learn how to sew it from start to finish all right let's go straight into the video this towel is just like it's a basic dress and um, the client wants a v-neck instead of an off shoulder let's go ahead and do it now to get the width of your paper it's actually um, dependent on the widest part of your body the widest part of our body is our hip and that's 39 39 divided by 4 we, we have 9.75 9 3 quarter okay and 9 3 quarter plus 1 inch sewing allowance that's 10 3 quarter plus my darts i'm just going to give um one inch that allowance okay so that's 11 3 quarter so that's the width of my pattern paper and I'm going to fold it right there. So guys, I'm going to measure half inch here, just so I can have a straight, straight line to work with. The shoulder to her bust point for my client is 10. 10. The shoulder to my under bust is 13 and then the shoulder point to her half length is 15. So I'm going to draw those uh, horizontal lines. So I have this right here. So now I'm also going to take her measurements, okay? At her bust point, her round bust is actually 38. 38 divided by 4 is um, 9.5, okay? And that's it here. That's, um, we are going to leave the uh, under bust line. So let me just write it bust, under bust, and the half length. okay so then her waist measurement is actually 32 so 32 divided by 4 is 8 okay now I'm going to join those lines and then now I'm going to get the arm hole next thing is to go to the utmost part and let's let's draft our, our arm hole and our neckline okay so now any bust that is not up to 44 you can use the neckline width of three the wideness in the neckline width another way to go about it is your bust divided by 12 her bust is 38 38 divided by 12 is because it's a v neck and, and i would give her the neck depth of seven neck depth of seven and we are going to join that together now next thing is to get our arm hole and in order to do that we have to measure our shoulder her shoulder is 16 which is eight okay and then you go down Usually the way I do this, I go two in two inches above my my bust. I mark that line and one inch underneath my shoulder to make my shoulder depth. Okay, you know the shoulder is actually slanted, so we're going to go down by one inch. I'm going to join the neckline point to the shoulder depth of one inch downwards. Okay. After joining that, I'm going to take a straight line, measure a straight line downwards to the, the two inch mark that we marked above our bust. Okay. 
when we join that we are going to still draw a horizontal line this way okay so now what do we have next i measure this straight line here what i have is seven on the dot divided by two is 3.5 so i'm going to mark that point 3.5 and i'll go inch at that point where i marked now i'm going to go inch by half an inch this is to get the curve the ample hole curve for the front okay so i'm just going to join this upper part of the shoulder slope to this um half an inch intake and down to this line here there you have it and usually in my experience i've realized that if you were going to measure this line here okay this is just the tip um if you're going to measure this line here okay it's usually two inch okay but then that is if you haven't added your sewing allowance so we're going to just join that normally i don't like to do a straight line because a straight line will just make it more slanty like this i just do a little curve okay so this part that is a little curve i just take it up join it together like this we are going to put the dots right now and we're going to use 3.5 for her nipple to nipple point so we're going to measure that at um the half length line we are still going to measure that at the under bust line and we're going to measure that at the bust line okay and we're going to join that straight line together when you join that straight line the next thing you want to do is princess curve naturally goes from this place now all the way straight from this way to the armhole so in order to do that what you would do is to measure your armhole curve divide it by two and get where the midpoint will be so i'm just going to measure it right now so we have eight so eight divided by two is four so we're going to just measure get where the get where four is four and now we're going to mark that line on the ample curve so this is it over here so what we are going to do right now is that we are going to curve it we're going to join it with the curve okay all right so this is a princess cut and uh, we are going to also take out the dart in full so now we are going to take our uh allowance here i'm going to take half an inch to the left and half an inch to the right okay and i'm going to join it to the bust line here now we are also going to take it over here so here at this uh line here we are going to take it um upwards and also downwards okay so we are going to join these lines to this curve For the lower one, we are going to extend it by one inch outside the angle point here. Extend it by one inch. So we are going to extend the line like so. And then we are going to join the curve back downwards like this. All right. So here it is, we have done the basic length of this dress. Now, um, you will take note that from the style, 
a particular fabric was used to the half length and then from the half length to the underneath of the hips another fabric was used and then the flare then joined okay so before i go to the back remember that we've taken out this that measurement here we have to in include it back here okay so we took a total of one inch here we're going to put the one inch back here so we've replaced it and we're just going to join it to the upper line now we're going to add our sewing allowance add sewing allowance based on how you can so if you can use a small sewing allowance go ahead add i add one inch sewing allowance by the side and then i had half inch sewing allowance for my armhole and then half inch sewing allowance for my shoulder and half inch sewing allowance for my neck yeah so the side has one inch sewing allowance and the hem here will also have one hem, one inch hem allowance hey did i jump? i almost said one inch oh my days <laughs> So I'm going to show you, I've not cut out, I've not added the half inch for the armhole yet. I'll do that at the end, but we can add the half inch now for the um, neck line. So that is it for the front. So I'm just gonna cut this out so we can wrap the back pattern. all right so so this is the front but this we are not done cutting it but because i need this now i need this to uh, make our back half length i left it this way so what we'll do what we'll take note of right now is the fact that the back body has a zip it will have a zipper so you are going to take out your zipper allowance my zipper allowance is two inch I'm going to make my zipper allowance 1.5 inch but I'm just gonna draw a straight line first just in case the edge of my paper is not straight then from there I'm going to take out my zipper allowance I'm going to take out um 1.5 inch 1.5 inch zipper allowance okay so when you're done with that i'll place my front pattern on top of my on top of my back pattern paper and yes i'm going to just mark out the points okay this is the half length point I'm going to take this out I'm just going to join those lines together
okay let's not forget that the bust line here from the bust line to the shoulder was actually 10 inch okay so i'm just going to use that to decipher where my shoulder line is 10 inch although i had already marked it but i need to have a good straight line so there it is i'm going to join those lines together those all right so now we did our neck width to be three inch we are going to take out three inch here and the full shoulder was 16 divided by two which was eight okay and remember our our shoulder slant is slanted downwards by one inch okay i'm just going to draw those lines I'm just going to draw out my shoulder slant. That's my shoulder slope. Now is to get the the neckline for the back. I will use 1.5 inch because I know that I will still take out my sewing allowance back up there. So I'm just going to draw a straight line like we did. And remember for our armhole. I took uh at the bust line I took it two inch I marked a, a point two inch above the bust line there to join this line and I went so now for the back I'm going so I'm just going to join a curve this way So, so now the side width okay so my waist here was 32 okay, 32 divided by 4 is 8 which is here plus that of 1 inch plus 1 inch sewing allowance okay so this is the last line then over here my my bust was 38 38 divided by 4 is 9 point um, 9.5 okay plus one inch sewing allowance 10.5 so i'm just going to join that line up onto the bus and as usual i just have that little curve All right, you can decide to do a princess cut or you can just do a normal um, that here. And I'm going to do a normal that here. That's all. Maybe it's 3.5. Here is also 3.5. And so I'm going to go half inch to the side, half inch to the side. And we're going to take out that line. All right, so one other thing in order to give it a good fitting at the back i usually go in at the you know this is where the zip is i usually go in by one inch or three oh point seven five inch okay so i'll do right here i'll do 0 0.75 of an inch and if you don't do this then you're going to have that puckering at the back and so i usually join it to my neck so i went in by 0 0.75 zip allowance here is 1.5 one inch sewing allowance one inch sewing allowance sewing allowance all right remember to put half inch sewing allowance i put one inch sewing allowance by the side then you can put half inch sewing allowance uh at the back armhole at the shoulder at the neck
now this part was just a straight line you don't have to cut it that straight line that i did to ensure that the paper was straight you can just fold it in now one other thing i like to do is to measure because i want to give this a little i want this place to sit properly okay so i'll just go inch one inch backwards that's in inwards okay this is the hemming allowance okay if i put it back like this this is the hemming, hemming allowance downwards okay for the half length i'll go up by one inch i'll go one by one inch and i join it down or i can go up by half an inch so let's do half an inch i would actually go up by half an inch and i'll join it to There you go so this is to give it extra fitting i want it to sit at the back very well on her i don't want any form of puckering at all i don't want any of it okay so it is like this so we've cut it for the back this is the back like so i'll just cut up cut out the front fully okay so what i will do now is to add to add half half inch you know i have cut already the shoulder i've cut the the neckline it will add half inch sewing allowance to the armhole of the front piece okay so i'm going to be adding half inch in allowance to it You're going to stop at this particular one here and you add half inch this way to this outer one here so half inch from here So now I stopped here and I'm going to now cut it this way following this line to the straight line downwards to the first that leg facing me okay
Ja, gaat het oud. So guys, this is my front piece. Okay, now remember something while you're cutting the fabric because I don't want to forget while you're cutting out the fabric on this cuff part, we have not added joining allowance. Okay, so you ensure to put the joining allowance only on this cuff part only and also here too. So I'm going to add, I'm going to write it there add allowance yeah okay i'm also going to write it here too add allowance yeah okay you can also put only so you don't get to forget There we go. Our front pattern and our up front piece and our back piece are ready. Okay. So now let's do the lower part of our pattern. So the fabric actually it then join there's this the joining now starts from the half length to the underneath of the hip so now our waist to hip uh, let me explain this the full length from the shoulder to the full length of the dress is actually 40 but now we have drafted our half length and our half length in total was 15 okay so 40 minus 15 is 25 now another fabric then continues from half length now till after her hips so if this was the dress this is the half length right here right so from the half length to the underneath of her hips oh god pardon, pardon my diagram so the underneath of our hips is one. Then it has flare. This is the style. Okay. So now from here to here is 15. Mm? And from here to the hip. The hip point is a standard measurement. That is it. So we need to get from here down here. So what we can do is to add 5 inch downwards is directly underneath your butt okay the curve downward so five inch downward so we can make it that like seven make it a total of seven so um which is from the hip points to the underneath of the bust where this where the flare joins the seven in we were going to make that seven in so total will be eight plus seven that's 15 so we are going to measure 15 inch now remember the upper part of the where this skirt part now joins the half length it will have its own uh, joining allowance which is one inch let's give one inch joining allowance then we add 15 one plus 15 that's 16 inch okay so we're going to one inch joining allowance the mark here at 16 or you take your table downwards to the one inch joining allowance and mark 15 either way is correct then another joining allowance where the flare then joins so you will have a total of 17 in length okay so now let's mark it and remember we said our hip our peak the peak of our hip joins at 8 inch but okay so that's where the peak of the butt is so let's just join let's roll those lines
so this is joining allowance so now no had round waist is 32 32 divided by 4 is 8 inch then her hip is 39 9 divided by 4 is 9.75 you can just take this part to like half inch lesser than the hip okay and that is 9.25 here This is it for the main pattern then we are going to add our sewing allowance and we add one inch sewing allowance to the side <laughs> all right the other is a circle flare and I'm sure you have seen in my video how to draft a circle flare before. One of the ways I like to do this, let me just show you. Because this is a joining allowance, surely I fold it at the back so that I can see the line. I fold it inward so and then I cut it should be the same thing here actually now when you bring it out you see it has this slanty look the benefit is so that when you're folding your fabric it's no big deal so now remember this is the front skirt the back skirt is still going to have a continuation of the zip allowance and it's also yeah that is all just the continuation of the zip allowance so what you want to do is just to close it is to put that zip allowance there so I placed the back, the back pattern over the front pattern and I measured it. I actually have 1.5, which was what, what we gave for the first. So I'm just going to draw this straight line. You want to just mark it out so I'm going to label it back okay guys so we have come to the end of the uh, tutorial i hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any questions please comment down below and if you found this very helpful do well to subscribe hit the like button and hit the bell for notification on other videos all right guys look out for the sewing of this beautiful dress it is referred to my previous videos on how to draft a basic flare bye